I am changing the looks of the truck. I got the back sticker off. I got the wheels changed. And up in the front it says, Get her done, Papa. I don't think I want it to say, Get her done, Papa. Maybe you could leave me a suggestion what I should put up there. For now, I might get rid of Get her and get rid of Papa and just call it done. Because after all, this truck is about done. This is all loaded up and nowhere to go. I've got silver bullet in the truck bed trailer. It kind of matches. Red wheels, red trailer. I've got Colonel in the back of the truck. Anyway, I wanted to put it in here and make sure it was not going to fit. I knew it wouldn't fit with those big tires, but I had to double check. I want to put a bumper on the front. If it had fit, I was going to cancel the bumper, but since it don't fit, that gives me an excuse to put a bumper on it. Back here on the trailer, I've got my spare tire. It's on. It's aired up. I even got it balanced. I just picked up a toolbox, 50 bucks, and it fits perfect. But now I can't open the tailgate. Don't be silly. It's actually for that truck. I'm going to go see if I can install it and still have room for Colonel Craftsman. Long story short, the toolbox fits perfect. Colonel, it's about an inch too long. But that's okay. I got other mowers that are shorter. So the one thing the neighbor wanted back from this truck was this and the ball. It's got a two inch Nissan ball. But it's locked on. I just ran through all my keys. There's my key collection. I couldn't get it to open. Anyway, I'm going to take the grinder, cut it off right here, and then i got to take a hammer. feels like it's rusted in. We'll see how it goes. Here's the grinder. So the grinder made quick work out of the hitch lock. Then I took the hammer and had to beat this out, and it looks like it's rusting away from the inside. All that came out of the inside of it. Up next, I'm going to get the drill. I've got two bolts. I'm going to bolt down the toolbox. I might go get one of my hitches first put it in there and so now I've got my own hitch in there this is the two inch ball for pulling my trailer also got this one I might use this one around the yard you know it's going to get stuck that'd be good for pulling it out or if somebody else gets stuck that'd be good for pulling them out you've not seen this yet but it's got heartbeat of America floor mats these came out of the chewy van I should leave you a card right now to the trailer the chewy van trailer anyway uh, floor mats and I've got the mower out of the back of the truck I've got the nice spare tire in the back I need three more like that that's going probably on the back. Anyway, the bed is rusty. I'm going to start looking for a bed liner or just leave it rusty. It's that rat rod look with the rusty bed and the paint chipping off. Oh, and I just bought some paintbrushes. I want to paint Chud 327 on the door. Chud 327 maybe on YouTube. You know, a little advertisement and on the tailgate too. That's coming up soon. So I'm right back with my cheap truck project. Right now I'm at $350.70. I did some mechanic work plus $350.70. And then keeping with the theme of cheap, my son-in-law up in Canada, shout out to Dustin, he sent me some pinstriping paint, that's green, some reducer, I picked up some brushes, I've got some paint thinner, a glove, and some paper towels. I'm thinking clean this area and where the bumper made this line. Okay, the tug gate's clean. I'm going to freehand this. This is my first time ever pinstriping. Not really pinstriping, this is my first time lettering a vehicle without a stencil. I moved to the driver's door. I wanted to do some kind of arching name, but these spots got in the way. I didn't want it to be paint or the paint. I didn't want there to be green paint where the white paint peeled off. I'm trying to make this look like it's been on there for a while. AutoZone, they had just what I needed, just what I was looking for. These wheels, they've got really small holes. I'd have a socket that would fit in that hole. Let's see, uh, AutoZone, yes. Pet Boys was a no. Advanced Auto Parts was a no. O'Reilly's was a no. And the ones on Amazon, it was a lot of reviews saying they rust too fast. So we got it done at uh, AutoZone, and they gave me 10% off. Win-win. So I've broken open the new set of lug nuts. This is what they look like. They're M14 by 1.5. That's the regular lug nut. And then they've got the lock-in lug nut. 
it takes this special socket to get it off. It's a 355. Anyway, the originals, the stocks look like this, and the socket was too big to fit inside the wheel. No way to torque them. We're in the process right now of putting these on the front driver's side. One on, four to go. So there is the new one. I've got these four to replace, and when you're doing these, you're supposed to torque them in a star pattern. So I'm doing this one, then I'll go here, then I'll go there, I'll go this one, I'll go that one. That's when you're taking them off when you're putting them on. Remember the star pattern. So I've got the back tire jacked up, the lug nuts are loose, I'm going to put this tire on. This must have been somebody's spare. It is just like brand new. And if we look at the year on it, the year is a 17. It's right at three years old. I need to find three more of those. That thing was 50 bucks. So all the lug nuts are now on. And I took my custom lettering and I put some shadows behind them. This side, the other side, and on the tailgate. And hooked to the truck bed trailer. I need to flip that hitch over though. Thinking about putting this Flowmaster on the truck. Hang on a second. Let's do what it sounds like before. Bruh.
So I'm right here with the truck project. The boy took it over. He cut the muffler off first thing. I want to see which one of these sounds best. So the truck was flipped yesterday all the way over. No dents on this side of the bed. This door looks good. This fender, that might've been when they were flipping it back over. Grill's good, hood's good. Under the hood, a little bit of oil poured out. That's to be expected. This fender, that must be where it landed. Tire's now low. Door dented, but still opens. Bed dented. Toolbox looks good. It's a little bit deformed, but looks good. Rear tire flat. And tailgate. I don't know if that was already there. Bumper's fine. We need to now see if it'll start up. The boy just put a new battery in it yesterday. See it? Luckily, he had a seat bubble when it happened. They don't want to wind back up. Whatever. So I guess it's not really totaled. And I got two fenders in the backyard. <laughs> 